Hey everyone, it's uh, 2.36 p.m. on Thursday, January 7th, 2021. This is my first video of the year. Happy New Year. And uh, right here you are looking at a Hunter Infinity Series ceiling fan in polished brass. And has the rosewood blade showing. Other side is reversible to high gloss oak. And... It's mounted flush as you can see. And let me give you a little bit of a backstory story of this fan. I received it as a Christmas gift in 1992. And I was originally looking at a Hunter Studio Series remote, but this one seemed to catch my attention even more. Plus, the price was a bit cheaper, too. I think the Studio Series remote, if I recall correctly, was upwards of 150 This is only like 110 and This is back at uh, Heckinger. It's, it was kind of like Lowe's Home Depot. And then who it was, and it got defeated by the aforementioned stores. So that's why Heckinger is no longer around. And uh, my dad gave it to me as a... Uh, you know, Christmas gift for the new room he had made for me, so. And it came with a, he got a uh, generic three-way turtle fitter for the light kit, which had three crystal globes on it. You know, diamond crystal globes. You've seen them in some of my other fans, but... It was manufactured by Gentech Lighting. I don't know if they're still around or not, but anyway, I put this one on there. This five light fitter, I think it was manufactured by Encon. It was new old stock from Cardello Lighting. I got it in early 2000, late 2006, I believe it was. Zoom in on it. And show you the Hunter logo. Right there, I don't know how well you can see it, but let me zoom out there. It is reversible. Up there is the reverse switch. And I don't think, even though the light fitter is manufactured by Encom, but I don't think there really is much difference in the finish. The brass that they use. I mean, they're both polished brass, but this one you really can't tell. Maybe it's because it's not illuminated at the moment, but that being said, let's shed a little light on the situation, shall we? See? Look at that. Yep. I didn't intend to use those gloves, but I really, they started to grow on me, so I like them. Get a little better view of the fan, and uh, it has high gloss blades. Of course, have a look at the vents. They have the horizontal vents the Hunter experimented with in the early 90s. See that? High gloss rosewood. And the switch housing is detachable. So I have to put the blades on first before you add the uh, switch housing. I guess there I guess you really can't tell that the light kit is not Hunter, it's you know aftermarket, but I only put one chain to um adjust the speeds on the fan and bother with the light kit because it's all or nothing. It's all five. It's not like that three way setting, it's just all or nothing. All right, let's get down to business here and uh, let's rev the fan up first on low. It has a nice aesthetic low to it. Yeah. 
and we'll try it on medium. Let's add a breeze on medium. And now let's bump it up to high, shall we? It's really well balanced. There's hardly any bearing issues because most 90s hunters, they were pretty much uh, void of uh, bearing issues. This one moves a really good amount of air, even though it's mounted flush, but I think the ceiling isn't really that high here, and you and you definitely could get away with one standard mounted. Power down. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this fan. It, and I do have another one of these that I'd like to try that's uh, standard mounted with a different light kit. So this fan's been in my possession for, like I said, almost. It was 20, let's see what, 28 years. Wow, that's, that's my only time it still runs the same way it did when we put it up initially. I had it up briefly in 2008, but then I had to take it down because I think for some odd reason, I don't know, but. I had different globes on it, but I think these ones look better on it. Had more mushroom shaped globes on it. And I did get one almost exactly like this. It was flush mounted minus the light along with that uh, other, um, along with its cousin that I had here previously. I still need to upload the video of that, so uh, it'll be up soon. Anyways, folks, fan has ceased operation. This concludes our broadcast day. Thank you for watching. More to come.